nine right now, and the U.S. has a critical need for highly trained pediatric specialists. But unless Congress acts, the money that pays for their training could actually dry up. And new this morning, nine on your side's Lisa Smith takes a look at the program and the impact it has on one local family. Five-year-old Calvin Underwood is full of superhero energy, but initially doctors thought he'd never walk or talk. He was four months old and he had been medically neglected. The Underwoods started out as foster parents, but soon adopted him. He had some medical challenges, but a pediatric geneticist suspected more. Your son has mandibular facial dysostosis with microcephaly, and it's a mutation of the EFTUD2 gene. But Calvin is beating the odds with help from highly trained doctors at Cincinnati Children's. Just knowing that they've had this continuing education and that they have access to that. The Underwoods went to Washington to ask Senators Rob Portman, Chair Brown, and other members of Congress to vote to reauthorize the Children's Hospital's graduate medical education program. It expires September 30th. Cincinnati Children's is one of less than 50 pediatric hospitals across the country, and residents rely on the experience they gain here. Hospitals use the federal funding from the CHGME program to to help cover training costs for general pediatricians and pediatric specialists. It's what allows us to have such a large program at such a top-notch institution. Meanwhile, Calvin starts kindergarten in the fall. Lisa Smith, 9 on your side. The reauthorization bill is now headed to the full Senate for a vote, and if approved, it would last for five years.